Hey folks, this is uh, Movie Metal Rock McDonald here, aka Jert, and um, I'd like to share something. It's about the um, the the MCU Blade movie lost its second director, Gil Vieger. Um, now I can't remember this, in, this individual's name, but they lost. The Them's Use Blade lost the second director, um, in the, um, and I think the, um, I can't remember the actor's name, well, I know the actor's name, but I can't, I can't pronounce it, so I'm not gonna, um, attempt to pronounce it. Oddly enough, uh, he was technically part of the MCU, technically. He was, um, the, the new Blade actor, he was in the, um, he was in, uh, First couple of episodes, he was in, um, he was in, um, Luke Cage, uh, he, which, I, I, which he played when the villains, when the villains in the movie, I mean, in the TV show, which, to be perfectly honest, they cut him off way too early, but, this is not about Luke Cage, this is about, um, Blade, this is his, um, second director. Now, I believe that <clears throat> Disney slash Marvel should cancel this movie. Should just cancel this movie. I don't think people who are are going to miss are going to be upset if they cancel this, this Blade movie. Because I'm, I do believe it's going to be rated, rated if it does come out though. I do believe that. It's, it's supposed to be rated R, and um, I think it was originally going to be PG-13, but um, by the end they just didn't make it R. But I think Marvel slash Disney should, should cancel this project, because one, no one's going to admit, no one's going to be upset if they cancel the, a Blade movie without Wesley Snipes, okay? Let's be honest with you, um... They, they should cancel it. Nobody's gonna miss it. Nobody's gonna be care. They, nobody's nobody's gonna care if it if this comes comes out or not. Because when a lot of people when they think of Blade, they think of Wesley Snipes. Okay, they think of Wesley Snipes. Okay, that's what the first image of people pop in the head when they think of Blade. It's kind of like Wolverine. When people think of Wolverine, they automatically think of of Hugh Jackman. So it makes sense that they cancel it. Now I only now I only seen like bits and pieces of the Blade movies. I haven't watched like a full movie of them, but I've seen bits and pieces of them. And for not seen, I liked. Um, my local um Dollar General did have all three of Blade movies. I was gonna buy them, but one I didn't have any money, and two I didn't want. To I want to buy a movie, buy a collection of movies with them, where a suppose where a a movie that's supposed to be, I'm I can't talk. Well, if I have to, if I maybe one day, one day I have, well, I will buy the Blade movies. If that means I have to um, buy a buy the Blade, the first two Blade movies that include the third movie, so well. If that's the only uh, way I can get it, because um, I'm going off tangent because I really like them. Hey, doing stores, well, well, still, so, well, I don't know, that doesn't be a, uh, <clears throat> I'm just rambling, but back to the topic. Yeah, when well, most people think of Blade, they think of with Snipes. Okay, I that's. That's one movie that people don't. That's one superhero movie that people don't not want to be rebooted is Blade, because a lot of people have a lot of fun memories with Blade, and Blade. You think about it, it was technically the first mainstream Marvel movie, not the first Marvel movie period, because there've been Marvel movies way before Blade, but you think about it. Blade was the first 
mainstream Marvel movie. With a bit of Hollywood budget behind it. Because I don't think the Captain America movie in the 90s was a, I don't think that I don't think that went to theaters. I think that went straight to video. I believe I'm not sure. And um, and I think in some of the Hulk, and I think they made some made for TV movies, Marvel did, but I don't think they made it in the theaters. Uh, no, I mean, yeah, I do. Yeah, you think about it, it was a big. Mm, because I don't think the Punisher movie was a big mainstream movie. I think it went direct to video, direct to video in, in the United States. It might went in the theaters in other countries, but but technically, you think about it, Blade was the first all uh, mainstream comic book movie, not main, mainstream Marvel comic book movie, because the other movies they were not big mainstream movies. I guess I think like um the, the Incredible Hulk movies. With um, with Lou Fregno, I think those were made for TV. Yeah, that's the reason why Blade has a big, because it was one of, the, because it was like, in my opinion, I just, just I believe it was the first mainstream Marvel comic book movie. Now I could be wrong about that, but I'm pretty sure it was. So if somebody says I get my facts wrong, I'm 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 probably am, but I do I'm pretty sure Blade was the first mainstream Marvel combat movie. Because I don't think the the Captain America movie from the nineties when he had the rubber ears, I don't think that was a um was a I don't think that went to theaters, I'm not sure. And what, and what, and I think what people what people people liked about the Blade movies is because of Wesley Snipes. The the parts I've seen from the Blade movies, Wesley Snipes did did carry those movies, and Blade is a simple premise. Okay, it's just it's a a man who's half vampire, killing people, killing by the count people, killing other vampires. It's like like. It's like one vampire killing other vampires, okay? That's a simple premise that that's easy. That's what people want to see. Okay. But you know that they're not gonna do that because they're trying to make it they're trying to make it they're Disney and Marvel are gonna try to make it complicated and confusing and Blade is gonna be a side character and his daughter is gonna be the main focus of the movie. Okay, they're going to replace Blade with a feminazi girl boss character, and that's not it's not not uh, can't talk. Is that's not what audiences want to see in a Blade movie? That'd be like if they made a um, Die Hard movie, and John McClane gets pushed aside, and his son became the main character in the in the movie. In the in the movie, now if they did that. With a good day, a good day to die hard. If if you think people hated a good day to hard, a good a uh, a good day to die hard. Now, if they did that in the fifth Die Hard movie, and they pushed John McClane to the side and made the son the main character of the movie, people hate the movie even more. Okay, if Die Hard Five did that, you bet your dollar they're going to they're going to. People are going to hate that movie even more if they did that. And that's one positive thing I'll say about Die Hard 5 is that they didn't push John McClane to the side. Like, it, it was, at least it was still his movie, okay? You're going to say, you're going to say he's out of character in the movie, but at least it's his, still his movie. But going back to Blade. People, when they're going to see a Blade movie, they want to see Blade. They, want, they do not want to see his daughter. Okay. Okay. Only way that would work if you did it in a, in a comic book series, like a mini comic book series. Okay. If you make her a likable, if you make her a likable character, though. 
but people don't want to see a movie. Matter of fact, I don't know if that works in comics either. But people want to see Blade. They want to see a half vampire man, a man that's half human, half vampire. I think because he is half breed. Doing martial arts, killing vampires. He want to shoot, shoot vampires, shoot vampires with machine guns, and slicing them and slicing them up with a katana, and make it and make it a hard R. That's what people want to see. I think that's what made the, at least the first two, I think worked so well. Because that's the two people love the most. They want to see a hard R action movie of Blade slicing up vampires in a gory fashion, okay? And I think Disney and Marvel should cancel this project because they, I think it's got to it's keep beginning with rewrites. It's keep them. It's keep on getting reshoots and stuff like that, and um, they keep on delaying it, and they lost his director. And I think the reason when they, they lost their um, first two directors is because the first two directors are not, are not seeing eye to eye with Disney and Marvel. And eventually, they will hire some yes man director and say, "Oh yes, I, yes, Master Disney, yes, Master Marvel, we will, we will." Make it up to we we put a girl boss in the movie, and we will put a uh, we will put a gen in it because I don't want people to think I'm sexist. Oh, woe is me! Crap, because that's what I do. And I think I talked long enough. People, Disney Marvel, please cancel this movie. No one's gonna miss it if it does get canceled. I don't think nobody's asking for a Blade reboot. If Marvel wanted to do a, re a reboot of a character, what type of reboot they? They haven't done. I don't care if they get that. Mm. Hmm. You Not know re reboot Captain Marvel with the original Captain Marvel. Marvel, yeah, re re reboot Captain Marvel since but it did not since a lot of people did not like that movie. Reboot Captain Marvel, okay. Mm, there's that. But I've talked long enough, and if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, and don't forget to rate and subscribe. And see you guys later. Bye.